what seemed to be very intelligent and dynamic is only because of the light of consciousness playing upon it. It's actually in itself, it is matter. Calcium, carbon, phosphorus. It has no strength of its own. It's only when the light of consciousness is functioning in it. It draws its nurture and nourishment and vitality and dynamism from the consciousness and shines itself out as fully aware of things. Jnana Kriya Vana. And what is his function? Jnana Kriya. To know is his function. I know what I see, I know what I hear, I know what I know, I know what I think, I know what I feel, I know what I think, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Intellect. And the intellect is not working. Ah. <laughs> Why? The drink in you has increased the tamas, that it is no more reflecting. And therefore, one drunken friend was early, late in the night, was coming into his house and taking his key and he was trying to open the house. So another friend was passing there by. John, never mind, give me the key, I will open it. No. I will open my house. But I want to help you. All right. You please hold the house properly. <laughs> because the house is moving, that is why I'm not able to. <laughs> this is your samsara. You think that the world is moving. The world is not moving. The world is not there. Your mind projected, and then your mind is in agitation. Therefore, the world seems to be in agitation. Tune up yourself. So don't say that. I will open the lock. You hold the house properly. The house is not. The drunken fool thinks so. All of you. Drunk with tamas and rajas. <laughs> Mixed drinks are dangerous. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So many people seem to have experience of it. Ah. <laughs> Tamas and Rajas together, then you are drunk. And you think that the world is you now ever changing. No, this is a changeless, immutable, eternal self only. But you are seeing a world that is constantly changing. Jnana Kriyavan Ahamitya Ajasram. Ajasram non stop. Akanda. A million times. And every action, every experience. You, the intellectual is I. I did it. I did it. I am the man. I am unhappy. I am happy. I succeeded. I failed. I <laughs> Think. This aham iti iti ajasaram. Dehendriyadishwabhimanyate prisham. It is the intellect, that abhiman, that vanity, or maintains the idea that I am the sense organs. The body, the sense organs, the prana, the mind. Who is doing that? It's an intellectual conviction that you have developed. Prisham. Prisham in vain. Because it's a wrong conception. It is because of the non apprehension of reality. It is a misapprehension. Bhrusham. Then you start suffering because these are me. But they are not you. Shut up, I know. I know what? That I am this. Think like you may come here, listen to me, and then go, but what do you do? The more you go. I'm the body. Mere chappal ka. Tum kyu liya? Aisa ma liya? Ha, mera hai? Tera, tera, mera. It goes on. The intellect has assumed it. It's not now. 
millions and trillions of lives all through your evolution. This idea of I am the body is necessary in the earlier stages of your evolution because for preserving, preserving yourself, nature has not finished you and therefore it has to be preserved and therefore it is necessary. But when once Viveka Vairagya has come, you have become an intelligent man. You must be able to stand apart and watch. Am I doing what I'm doing? Then you discover that it is not necessary. Mm.